Hi, welcome back to Bird Morsels. Today I will be talking about birds commonly seen on the shores of oceans, lakes, and rivers throughout much of North America. The Sanderling is found on both coasts of North America throughout mo much of the year and it may, al may also be found inland during spring and fall migration. The Sanderling, which is a very small kind of sandpiper, is unusual among sandpipers in that it only has three toes. In several birds that run, they only have three toes. This helps them to run faster. In breeding plumage, it's a bright rusty brown on its back and head. The ruddy turnstone, which is a, a rusty brown throughout most of the year, lives on the coast of North America, as well as the coast of South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. It is, it is the most widespread sandpiper in the world, and it is named for its unusual habit of running around and turning over every small stone it can find to see what kind of food it can find under it. But it will eat anything. On beaches, when people may leave food lying around, the turnstone will often come and eat it. It will also eat eggs at turn colonies, but turns usually ignore them. One of these is the Forster's turn, which can be seen at lakes, rivers, and beaches of the ocean almost everywhere in North America at one time of the year or another. During breeding plumage, its head is completely black, but in winter, it only has two black marks on the side of the head. It can be distinguished from similar looking birds by its longer tail and whiter underparts. The willet, which is found all over North America, is a very large sandpiper commonly found on beaches. It is named for its unusual call that sounds somewhat like it is saying willet. But not only sandpipers are seen on the shores, and there are also plovers. The semi-palmated plover is seen throughout much of North America. It is named for the partial webbing between its toes. This can be very hard to see unless you are extremely close to it. The brown pelican is found on beaches on the Atlantic coast, Gulf coast, and the Pacific Coast. It is the smallest of the world's pelican species, and it is the only one that usually dives into the ocean and catch, fi catch fish in its beak. Other pelicans, such as the American white pelican, usually just sit on the water and dip their bills in to catch fish. The American white pelican, which may have a wingspan of nine and a half feet, is seen inland in much of North America. The spotted sandpiper the most widespread shorebird in North America is often seen along rivers and streams bobbing up and down while it looks for food. It, it has an unusual flight pattern when where it stays very close to the water with stiff, quick wing beats. The solitary sandpiper also bobs up and down like the spotted sandpiper. But the, 
The solitary sandpiper is very well named. It is almost always seen alone. The solitary sandpiper is unique among American sandpipers in that it uses old nests of other birds that nest high in the treetops. And, and the only, uh, it is the only sandpiper that does this that lives in North America. The long-billed and short-billed dowager Related kinds of sandpipers are very similar and they were once considered the same species. The long-billed dowager is more commonly seen inland than the short-billed dowager is. The short-billed dowager prefers the coast of oceans. Thank you so much for watching Bird Morsels and be sure to share it with your friends. Come again soon. Bye.